philosophers writers all attracts me because sometimes the philosophers quotes are very powerful to connect to the basic structure of what i was trying to keep on reminding my people that they must go back to their roots they must go back to the family they must connect the joint family and to the family tree and if these three are there these three murtis are there i think anybody is successful in the whole world nobody can live in fear william pen born on 14th october 1644 in london died on 30th july 1718 in the united kingdom was an english writer and religious thinker belonging to the religious society of friends quakers and founder of the province of pennsylvania the north american colony of england he was an early advocate of democracy and religious freedom notable for his good relations and successful treaties with the lenep native americans william penn said men must be governed by god or they will be ruled by tyrants lot of philosophers religious leaders keep using the word god and most of the present generation don't believe in god let us look into that whether they believe in god or they don't believe in god whether god exists or doesn't exist let us not go into that debate men must be governed by by god what william penn men this god means in in our training session we have senpai kohai relationship senpai means senior kohai means junior what is senpai means a person who has trained one day before you who has got experience one day more experience than you the one one day more experience than you is called a god yeah and kohai will always ah, they have to say and the person who is one day senior to them works 100 times faster and harder than the one day junior to them hence they say senpai is god that demonstration that speed and in that speed not that you create speed and you make mistakes you create speed and you fall into trouble in that speed you are so conscious that you don't make a single mistake that shocks the kohai the junior just senpai ko just can you believe it's created by one country and the country is one of the richest economic might in the world and if they can do it you can do it god and that senpai here the god is a religious leader can be a god or their their disciples call him god or for some children the parents are god or for for, for some religions only the messenger is god no 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 that is dead deep far away and then the confusion comes if you can understand this one that the person who works harder and had experience and you can feel it is godly and you can start when you start melting and you and your senpai you and the leader becomes one that day you feel the god's orgasmic experience of truth and that truth is a new creation to bring down the pain in the society men must be governed by god you must be governed by why why what be governed by your listening you must listen to your seniors even if you know you open your ears so that whatever they talk maybe the same thing you know you know better but when they talk that music that sound which is coming from their mouth has got more experience feeling which takes you a little more further up you man must be governed by god means you must be governed by your parents whatever the parents tells you you have taken them for granted because they are not stuck behind you to serve you to um, feed you and you consider them as worse than servants 
when you will consider them worse than servants they will be ruled by tyrants the worse than servants when that comes into your mind you are not unconscious you you will be ruled by tyrants means you will be ruled by unconscious state the unconscious state creates stagnant stagnation stagnant water stinks flowing water free that stagnation creates a disease and chanchala in the mind disturbance in the mind and then you have to go to psychologists psychiatrists doctors and to meditators no no all these people cannot save you the only people can save you is you listening William Penn said, men must be governed by God or they will be ruled by tyrants. Let us look into the tyrants. When you look into the tyrants, you think the tyrant is a dictator, a Hitler. A tyrant is somebody who is ruling to rob you. Who allowed them to rob? You allowed them to rob. Otherwise, they, have, they cannot rob you at all. Why did you allow them to rob? Because you refused to listen to your senior men. Even when I was studying in St. Joseph's in the 9th standard, I had a class teacher who was a Jesuit priest. He used to tell us, whenever you write anything, a letter, please give it to your younger brother or sister. They might be able to find had, has, have a spelling mistake, a comma. But not a senior. You see, even you respect your junior, you listen to your juniors, listen to your seniors. Husband listens to the wife, wife listens to husband. Father and mother listens to each other. And together the family, when they listen, no tyrants means no outside agency can interfere in your house. You can see the family which sits together, each together, prays together, grows together, becomes so powerful there in that power you find only godly things cleanliness next to godliness and in that connecting link you have you can make one call and get works done that is called the joint family from the joint family the family tree when listening to my talks even my school principal ran back to his native place he refused to go to his lady place and my wife refused to talk to my people. Now suddenly he just forgot about his wife or children. He rushed up, he started constructing the house. He started falling in love with the house. I think that gives him the strength. That gives him from going to the hospital. Yes, go back to your roots. That's all is our life. William Page and men must be governed by God. Allow us. Seniors to talk and you listen. Allow the wind to talk to you. Allow the sun to talk to you. Allow the birds and animals listen to the gibberish talk. And then you can smile or you will be ruled by tyrants, devils, the unconscious state, the chanchana. Come out of that chanchana.